wondered how to bring your data to life with interactive maps? Imagine highlighting sales hotspots across continents, tracking customer location in real time, or visualizing business performance at a glance. In today's data-driven world, location intelligence is a game changer. And Power BI makes it easier than ever to turn raw geographical data into compelling visual insights. So stay with us until the end of this video to learn how to create impressive maps like this. And in this video, we will dive into the art of creating dynamic maps in Power BI from plotting basic locations to unlocking advanced geospatial insights. But before we begin, like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out Edureka's Power BI certification training course in collaboration with PwC Academy. This course equips you with the business analytics skills covering Power BI desktop, DAX, services, data modeling, reports and more with real-world use cases. This live instructor-led training offers hands-on experience and prepares you for the PL300 exam with guidance from 10 plus years of industry experts. So first, let us understand what are maps in Power BI. Well, maps in Power BI are interactive visualizations that help display geographical data, making it easier to analyze location-based trends and patterns. They allow users to plot data points using locations such as cities, states or coordinates, providing deeper insights into regional performance, sales distribution, customer demographics and more. So, by leveraging Power BI's mapping capabilities, businesses can transform raw data into actionable insights, uncovering trends that might be overlooked in traditional reports. Whether tracking sales across different regions or optimizing logistics, maps offer a compelling way to visualize and interpret spatial data effectively. But why use maps in Power BI? Maps in Power BI help visualize geographical data, making it easier to identify location-based trends, track sales, and analyze customer distribution. They enhance data storytelling, improve decision-making, and provide deeper insights into regional performance. But how to use maps in Power BI? Now, let us see how the maps will visualize the data in Power BI. Now, let's get started. But before we begin creating a map in Power BI, we need to ensure that the map settings are enabled. So for that, let us go to File. From here, select Options and Settings. Then click on Options. And in the Security section, scroll down to find Map and Filled Map Visual. So here, ensure the setting is turned on. And if it's not enabled, the map option won't work. So once enabled, click OK and close the window. Next, we need to import our dataset into Power BI. So for that, go to Get Dataset and from here select Text or CSV file as our dataset is in this format. Now select the dataset and then click on Open. Now let us click on Load to add the dataset into Power BI. And there you have it. So once the dataset is loaded, go to the table view to review the dataset. So to do that, click on the dataset and go to table view. And this is how you can view your dataset. So here you will see columns such as order ID, country, state, city, region, latitude, longitude, and sales. So to create a map visual, ensure your dataset includes columns like city, state, country, latitude, and longitude. Now, go to Report View and in the Visualization panel, here, you can select the Map Visual. So from here, click on the Maps. You can resize the Map Visual for better visibility. Alright, now let us drag the Country column into the Location field. So as you can see, here are the columns of our dataset. So these are the columns and here we are going to add the Country under the Location. So just drag and drop the Location. So basically what we are trying to do is we are going to find out the total sales across different countries. Okay. So now here you will see this blue color bubbles, right, which are appear on the map. And these are representing each country in your data set. So for example, here as you can see, this is India and here Germany, France, UK and this way it's representing the countries. Next, let us drag and drop the order ID column into the bubble size field. So here we have the bubble size. So let us drag and drop the order ID. And now, as you can see, you will get the country and the count of order ID. 
such as 83. Similarly, you can see for other country as well. Here you will see India count of order ID is 105. So, as you can see, the bubble sizes will now vary based on the number of orders in each country. Okay. Now, to add more details, let us drag the region column into the legend field. Well, the bubbles will now be color coded based on the region categories such as North and South. Now, as you can see, if you just click on this, you will see North and South. So, this is North and this is South. Here, it is representing light blue and dark blue, which is North and South. Similarly, you can see for India, this is South India and here you have the North India. And it's also giving the count of order ID such as 56 in South and 49 in North. Now, let us drag the sales column into the tooltips field. Okay. So, here you will have the tooltips field. In this, we will drag and drop the sales column. So, now it should show the sum of the sales, right? So, here you can see for Australia, you have the sum of sales displayed. Again, similarly, you can see for other countries as well. Here you will see for India and Europe. Similarly, for Canada as well. Okay. Now, when you hover over a bubble, you will see details like the country, region, order ID count and also the total sales. Now, to improve the map's visual appeal, go to the format your visuals. And here, click on map settings. And from here. Under the controls, you will see the zoom buttons. So, you need to enable it. So, in this way, you can zoom in and zoom out. So, this will become easy for you to find out the sales. Now, to change the map style, go to the style and select your preferred option, such as you have aerial and it looks like this. And if you want to select dark, just click on it. Or if you want light, then just go for it. And this way you can change the style of your map for better visibility. Now let me select the light. Okay. And that's all about the maps. You can also add title for your map. So go to general and here click on titles. From here, let me keep it as sales by country and region. And let me make it bold and also you can align this to center. You can also increase the font size of your title. Okay. For a professional look, you can also add borders. So for that, let us go to effects. Now you can also go to visual border and you can enable it. And you can also set the border width to be 2. And that's how it looks. And you can also enable the shadow effect to enhance the map's appearance. So this is how it looks. And that's it. Now you have a well-structured map visual displaying total sales across different countries and regions. If you would like the data set used in this demo, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to share it with you. And with this, we come to an end to this video on how to create maps in Power BI. If you enjoyed listening to it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. And do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.